Hey everybody, Pastor Ben here along with Chris Hernandez, our business administrator. We're out here by the 17 acres on which we are currently under contract. And one thing that stood out to me as I've been out here is how big this property is. 17 acres is a big piece of land. You can see all the way in the distance, we're kind of close to the north end of the property. You stick road way out there. That's the southern edge of the property. This is a lot of space and Chris, Tell us a little bit about what is going on in the due diligence process. What are we doing out here right now? Yeah, so we've had conversations with several municipal entities that are either gonna give us the information we need for development or just kind of help us strategize what we're gonna need to be prepared for. So we've met with the Ada County Highway District, we've met with Ada County Planning, we've met with the Meridian City Public Works Department. So we're meeting with a lot of folks that have the information we're gonna need for when we are ready to develop this property. Right, and currently there's some other things. If you look really carefully, if you're driving by the property, you'll see some orange tipped pipes poking out of the ground, doing tests for groundwater and things like that. And we're hoping to update you more on the results of the due diligence process next month. But today we wanna to talk a little bit about Okay, if everything goes well, if we close on this property, if we own this property here within the next few months, what does the next phase of the process look like? Let's just talk about size and cost sure. of the building. I mean, let's just start with something like 30,000 square feet. How big is that? Give people a sense of what they can compare that to. Yeah, so when we started as a church, we were at Pathways Middle School. That building is about 30,000 square yep. feet, the whole building. And why did we move out of there? It was too small. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the Pursuit, where we do several events, I'm sure you guys have been to some of those, is a 33,000 square foot building. Right, so you get a sense, 30,000 square feet, or you know, maybe we could squeeze into that, but that's not the long-term goal. Right. But how much would a 30,000 square foot building cost? Yeah, so con contractors today are telling us that it's about a $300 square foot build cost. Right, so thankfully that's a little bit easy math. That's about $9 million to build a 30,000 square foot building. And if you just go up from there, 40,000 square feet, which isn't that more comparable to what we use at Heritage? Yeah, we're almost at 40,000 square feet at Heritage Middle School. That would be 12 million. A 50,000 square foot building would be 15 million. And we're working with an architect and probably one feature that we'd want to build into this next phase is somewhat of a phased approach right, so right. we can get the most essential things in first and then add Correct. to that. But that's a sense of the cost. Also give us a sense of time. I mean, if, you know, we could probably be doing church here next Easter, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, if the Lord wills it, it can be done. Uh, but I think raising millions of dollars, right. I mean, you just said, a 40,000 square foot building will cost $12 million. Right. Uh, it's gonna take a little while to be able to actually afford that building. Right, and so between raising funds and then also there could be some issues with utilities and having to wait some amount of time to, to work out some of the utility issues right. uh, with this piece of property, that might actually go together, giving us that time to wait for those utilities, raise that money. So a sense of what we're trying to give you is the overall next phase of the process is probably gonna cost over $10 million and probably will be measured in years. Right. And if you're watching this thinking, wow, that, that seems big, that seems challenging, that's actually a pretty accurate assessment of the situation. But that's where it's good to look back and see how good has God been? How faithful has God been? Even the opportunity we have to even own this piece of property is a huge testament to just the faithfulness and the goodness and the generosity of God. So there is a long way to go, but we've also come a very long way. Amen. So let's let's stay true to what we've been doing. Let's invest, let's work, and let's pray. And let's remember the big picture. This isn't just about being comfortable. This isn't just about a building. It's about making disciples, followers of Jesus Christ. It's about his mission, his church, and the good news of what Christ has done for us. So let's keep going and trusting God as he continues to work through the Taking Ground Project.